talking to uh, oh, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And which one is this? Former 33. 33. Four, yeah. I've had these bits out of paint marks. I've got all these lot on me. Um, oh, are these what you made? Yeah, they're the intercostal, new intercostals for yeah. underneath the floor. And this is the um, tail wheel box assembly. Oh, yes, um, you took that yeah. down, didn't you? Yeah, these are the original bits. And, and that there, they cleaned up all right. And then I obviously made the other bits. Well, Mike's here for the week. Tomorrow they're on about um, taking the frames out, getting them painted. Yeah. Which, which makes good sense really. Yeah. yeah. Just take a couple out of time, get them painted and then yeah. work away along. Now, all these frames, um, Bob has to pass them all, doesn't he? Yes, he, he does, yeah, yeah. And will he um, mark them up or will he leave them blank? Will he put part numbers on the frames? They'll, they'll have part numbers on them, yeah. They yeah. will write part yeah, yeah. yeah. And Bob will pass them. Yeah, back. yeah, he's got his one so, certified yeah. and yeah. He'll check, check them out before we go into paint and everything. Yeah. So, as I check them out, I'll have, have, have a look and um, John probably will as well. He's yeah. just as qualified. So, yeah. After yeah. Them. I'm sure John's already cast his eye over them anyway. So, yeah. yeah. He, seems, he, seems, he, he looks at things as we go along, so he's, he's checking things out. Yeah, good. And um, so you've only got one more frame of the. Of that side, yeah. Yeah. Um, starboard then, side. Yeah, I'm not far away really. Uh, and then you'll come down and here. On the door, One, yeah. two, three, four full frames and uh, half of them. Yeah, yeah. It goes over the door. Yeah, yeah. The door ones have obviously got like an inner frame as well to strengthen them. Oh, which I, I made them for the last one, so I've, yeah. I've got still got the wooden template to make yeah. those. By, uh, let's say what is it, June now, July, mm. by August, you might be getting some skins on. It'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Morning, Keith. Oh, I'm out. Did it roll okay? Pardon? Did it roll okay, the repair? Uh, the rollers ain't that good. We'll get there in the end. Yeah. Have you got the joining piece underneath? Yeah, the splice plate's in there, that's what I'm drilling off now. The spike, yeah. You can see them, Yeah. yeah, I've got it now. Yeah. You drill the far side off, have you? Pardon? You're drilling the far side off, or are you only no, just, just working your way down either way, both at the same time, because it's it's got to be pulled down and round. Yeah. Because it's so damaged. You know, everything's not proper gen as it should be. No. So you've, uh, plus with the skin, because the original skin, which is still on there, that I had to wheel and shrink and whatever to get it to go straight. Yeah. And I had to, uh, I partially annealed it because it was so hard. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, but well, it's 80,000 thick and 70 years old. <laughs> yeah. So I had to uh, anneal it slightly just to, to get it to, so I could get the, the creases out where it had been buckled and you know how yeah, bent it was. Yes it was, yeah. Yeah, I had to, to get it to wheel out and roll out. I put it through the rollers, through the wheel, shrunk it and it, it, it came out quite well, which I was quite surprised. But it just took time doing it. Good. Where is the old piece you took off? Have you chucked it? No, it's on the bench. I made the um, these um, the splice doublers. I cut them oh, oh, you... out of it and used the oh, old yeah. material because it was already rolled in yes. the right contour. Oh, that was good then, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
to mean that I didn't have to roll a complete piece all the way around yeah. and then cut the sections out. It was already shaped. But otherwise, it'd just get thrown in the bin. So, yeah. might as well use it. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks, Keith. Right. The old piece teeth, Keith tape, tape up, straightened it out as using this end for the splicing piece underneath. You're doing, 30, you're doing 33 star but eh? Yeah, these two got sprayed as well um, last week, them two that are made. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these uh, are new Mike, ones. Mike, yeah, Mike was in, so he is at a loose end, so we've got them to we'll get a bit from them. Um, oh, good. Yeah, yeah good. I think when he comes in, he's just going to do two at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, got this last one in. Get, yes. Where is it? 33 you said? 34 doing 34, yeah. We've yeah. got, got one, two, we've got four more to do then. Oh. You know them little brackets I was making yes. the week? He's fitted two to the aircraft now. Right, well have a look Terry. I'll show you where they are. There's one up there and there's one on the other side. Let me get closer to that one. It's still got to be riveted on, has it? Yeah. It's riveted onto the string. Oh yeah. But it's only just assembled onto the yeah. side there. Yeah. Oh, that's two of the ones I was making last week. John, you know when you talk about manganese rivets and the Lancaster's full of them, were the pop rivets manganese as well? Magnesium. Magnesium. No. No, it was just no. the solid rivet. Yeah. Yeah, pop rivets are steel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were steel, were they? They were, yeah. Because oh. your, your commercial pop rivet is probably made out of aluminium, sort of soft as soap, really. Yeah. But uh, yeah, in, in, in an aircraft, they're, they're steel. Oh, right. That's cool. Really hard. Yeah. yeah. Right, thanks, John. So you've turned it round a bit now, then? Yeah, I've turned it round a bit now, just make it easier for me. So you've got that section ready to be... So that's, that's done. That one's done, it just needs to come off again and get primed. Them two are just tacked on, but they're done. Primer. Uh, take a dent out of that frame. Um, take a dent out of that one to get it all lined back up again. I've replaced them put two panels, so both made, one's on the bench, so the, both of them are made. But the reason I've left them off is I need to get around the back, because I thought there was a whopping dent in that. So I've cut it out, so I'm going to put a plate in, I'm going to put an insert repair. On that one, yeah, and then them two walls at the bottom. Same as insert repair. Same, repairs. same, just insert repair just to tidy him up because that's a massive skin, that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm working on the top, yeah. so I thought hey. I'll just insert repair. You're getting all well with it. Sorry. I think so. Yeah. On the other side. So these panels are on the other side. You just locked up. I've just got replaced them. Them two. These three. That one, because they've got holes in them and whatnot, so I get yeah. them replaced. But the big long ones, they don't look too bad. Yeah. You know? And then the ones on that side with the front of them are fairly straightforward, flat panels. Yeah, are you leaving those in? No, no, I'll take them off. Take them off, I'll take them off, but they're a doddle then, because they're relatively... Is this... from it being a curve on it, but Is that a repair? No, that's for or the... Or is uh, it? It's for the... See, I'm not a Lancaster geek. Not yet, anyway, no. but they're for uh, an antenna that sticks out oh, the yeah. side. Yeah. And we've got our Jason there. Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> yeah, when did you change your name? <laughs> I've changed it about four times in the last six months. Yeah. Got fools and horses. Yeah. You keep <laughs> right, calling yeah. him Dave. Yeah. 
My name is Rob. Jacob. Yeah, so I've got uh, all the cleats in now for all, for these two stringers. Um, I'm just putting the last one in here and then I'm actually all done with this training edge until I come to putting the skins on. Yeah. Um, so it's all secure. I mean, you can see how straight it is if you sort of look down the line. Yeah. And it's ri it's really rigid. It's it's come together really well. Good. Um, I haven't actually had to move any holes much either. I thought I might because these were different stringers come out from the different aircraft. I thought I'd have to drill new holes and everything, yeah. but I've managed to get it all to fit quite nicely. Yeah. Good. Is that a, a round file, so? It's called an Abra file. They just, uh, they're like tile blazer. I just broke one so you can see what it looks like. Broke one. Trying to find a source of some new ones because you yeah. don't make them anymore. Oh, don't they? Yeah. They're good, aren't they? They are good. They're good for cutting out because they've got such a little end fitting like that. Because it's such a small end fitting, yeah. you can drill a tiny little hole yeah. and then dismantle this, put it in a pot, and you can do a circle within something using that. Oh, it's good then. Rather than doing a big hole. Yeah. yeah. Especially when it's cut out and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it cooks them out well, doesn't it? Yeah, and then finish it off with a file. That's where it goes behind the back of the um, frames. Frame, so yeah. it's basically on copying. Those two there. That this one. is the one you're replacing. That one and that one. This is the one for easy because yeah. at some point in life had a massive big old screw stuck in it, and then when we looked at it you could see it crack slightly yeah. <coughs> and we took it off it cracked completely yeah. it's only 14 foot long it's quite easy, quite easy to use yeah and there's no way you could use a, a section of it possibly three yeah. foot it might, it might have but to. there again it, there isn't many short runs is there, there is quite a lot of short ones oh, actually there? there's a lot yeah. of because like this this piece was a was a long one and a short one on one piece so I've, I've made the short one I'm just making the long one now so the, the short one's in place yeah so we've got a, we've got 18 and a half foot lengths yeah so we've got to try and make it as much as possible without wastage yeah so we'll generally have one long one and one short one with the same one and probably have yeah. an inch and a half left at the end spare that's what we've been trying to do yes yeah. the yeah. longest ones the three there the long ones they're all just short of 18 foot long Mm. And the, these are 18 and a half. Yeah. So we've, had, we've got no choice because there's, there's none at six inches long. No. So we've had to weigh six inches on those ones. Yeah. But there's a couple of slightly shorter ones where we've managed to get where they're 17 and a half foot long. Yeah. But we've managed to get foot long ones. So it's, it's, there's all sorts of different lengths up there. Oh. Yeah. So they, they, they actually finish on that. fits. This, this on side. On here, does this it? Side, this side. It's got two rivets, it's got rivet fitting it there and the same on the other side and it sits, it's about that far back from here so there's there's all your, there's, Cleats, there's, yeah. a, the there's a clip on there that matches that one and then the, that's all um, frame, the string has come through here. Yeah. And this is sorted out now is it? It's good as, yeah, yeah, yes. change as many rivets to the cut, change as many screws to the cut. Yeah. That's got extra strength on it anyway for the glider tone mod which was built so it's stronger than it originally was with extra yeah. on it. So it's got more intercostals as well so because of the glider towing uh, kit. Yeah. Oh I see this one here is broken. Yeah, yeah that's that, that, that one's definitely getting replaced. Yeah. So you've got two more frames to do after this. Yeah, yeah. it looks like the repair being done there yeah. Yeah. Something weird going on there. You've got those two Formers at the very back to do now. Have you passed the two? I think you just what one. one to do. Oh, the note, just, just that one. Yeah, where it's crushed. Yeah, yeah. you told. 
I think it, yeah, I think it's just that oh, one. What about this one here then? Is this one he's not, he's not mentioned this one, so I don't know. Who's that, Bob? Yeah, Bob or John, no, they just said yeah. there was one in the back, so I'm assuming it's just that one. Yeah, 39. Mm. Is that right, that key, key till after dinner? Pardon? Is that it till after oh, dinner? Oh, it definitely is. Yeah. You've got these, obviously you've got these formers um, ribs riveted in. Yeah, they're all in. Stringers all are in. Now, yeah. on, the, on the top surface, they're all in now. Yeah. Yeah. The only frame that's not in is... Oh. Which one? This one. Oh, didn't it, oh, not riveted in, no. No. Why was that? Why didn't you rivet? So I've got to take it out when we fit when we fit it to this. Oh, yeah. Because I've got our, these have got to be riveted in 3 sixteenths. Yeah. And you won't be able to get on to the rivets properly. Yeah. Because this angle has got to be riveted through this, through that, and into the rib 22. Oh. Yeah. So if I take that rib out, I'll be able to get in and rib it up the thing yeah. nice and easy. Yeah. And then once it's up there, I'll pop this back in, pop the rivets in and pop the rivets in along there. Good. Right, thanks Keith. I'll let you get your dinner. Alright. Drop time. Oh, and you got all this riveted as well from last week. Yeah, that's all done. Yeah. And that is where the cutters were, were is it? Where the cable cutters were, The yeah. cable cutters, yeah. Yeah, it was four of them. Yeah. So a hole in that one, no, we're not putting back in. No, no need, is it? Because we, we haven't got the, uh, all the pods that carry them are all completely right. rotted yeah, away. Yeah, because they were rough, they were steel, weren't they? Yeah, they're all yeah. completely rotted away. The holes for the patch anyway, to keep the pitch and all that the same. And then I'll, I'll put it in, put the patch on, rivet it all up. Move on to the next one. Move on to the, the next two down there. Next two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Be alright that, won't it? Yep. Looks like a suit of armour at the minute, don't it? Cos... <laughs> you do that as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> all these panels overlapping yeah. and... Yeah. Cos they're not riveting down, they're not sitting too yeah. flat, but once you get... Once you get the rivets in, I'm going to be alright. Will, um, will you have it ready for Christmas? Oh, aye. Yeah. So it'll be fitted this year? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon I'll get it done. That's yeah. good. I think I've got the hardest bit done now, which was the, the panel with the scoop in it, and the one next to it will probably be the hardest ones I've had yeah. to do. Um, but the other side, it doesn't look too bad. So no. I'm that panel... Really Looks like it fitted okay, one with a yeah, double yeah. bend. That's a tiny bit flaky, that, wasn't it? But yeah. yeah, sorted it. Sorted it. Yeah. Good. Okay, Chris. Yeah, not too bad, aren't they? Yeah. Is that a patch you put in there then? Yeah, so it, what it was that, that was um Big heavy rivets, aren't they? They were four mil tucker pops then. Mm. And what they'd done is they smashed an hole in it here. And what it what it had done is it put an hole in it and then it had ripped it that way, ripped it that way, ripped it that way and then just stopped drilling each one. But it was an hole, if you know what I mean, it torn yeah. away from itself. So they just stopped drilled each hole and then stuck a patch over the top of it and just put some tucker pots in it flat over the both panels. Yeah. So I can't really change it, I could probably change the skin but it's like words you stop, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I took the tucker pops out, dressed the damage out put some solids, put a plate, a plate on the back, put some solids back in to fill the original holes and just put a yeah. plate in front of it. Well, for a static display it'll yeah. be okay, won't yeah. it? It's not, like I say, it's not and perfect. And it's such a big shaped panel. Yeah, of course it is. So, uh, yeah, towards your stops, you know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise I'll be de-skinning the whole nose yeah. section. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll get these patches done and then yeah. I reckon, get that one done, get them two done, and then I'm on to this job then. Yeah. Which is, which is, what they've done under here, is they put a steel plate in, in the, in the inside at the back, it's, it's yeah. corroded because that's where the water's sat, 
and it's obviously corroded through the panel and it's corroded part of the frame as well. Oh, this is yeah. proper it's a Will joint. you be able to do anything with a frame or will you have to build it? Um, one side I mean, of the frame's all right. The way yeah, around, exactly. It? So one side, the, one, this side, the, this facing side under here is not too bad. This side's corroded. Yeah. What they've done is they put a steel plate in. And then obviously when it's got wet, steel and aluminium have in a bottle with one another. Yeah. Aluminium tends to lose sometimes, and it has done. So you can see it's all, it's all come through here. So you have a look down there, you'll be able to see it. So you look, look in around this, around this area, you'll yeah. see a, a rusty plate in there. Yeah. So all that's going to go. I've got to take that. I've got to take this out. I've got to take that out so I can get to it. Would it be fine with all these? Oh, was, probably. Because I mean, it was in the field for yeah, so probably, many years. Yeah, could have been, yeah. And I mean, it was you fine to land in. Why would you? But you wouldn't have bothered putting the plate in. Yeah. You just. Do you know what I mean? So um, I've got to take all that out. See what damage to the rest of the frame, and then probably splice it or into it or something. You know. Yeah. Yeah, what would it be expensive to have one of those made? Perfect, yeah. This whole frame, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it probably comes in too hard, so don't get me wrong. Yeah. But even so. Yeah. Yeah. I've had one for a no, while. I've, yeah. I've got thousands of them. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we start? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I, I, did the, I did the poppy drop for the Lancaster. You know the first time the Lancaster dropped yes. the poppies? Yeah. Yeah, I was... Uh, what do you mean? Um, the million poppies. Over this one or this one? They do a poppy no, drop. No, I'm no. talking about the, BMF, the, the BMF. first BMF. time a Lancaster had ever dropped a million poppies. Yeah. I, I got uh, chaffed with doing that. Oh, did you? Uh, what did you actually have to do? <laughs> Count each poppy in. <laughs> I was responsible for counting out the million poppies. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, so the uh, OC entering at Conisby in 1994, it was the 50th anniversary of the uh, D-Day. Yeah. Um, they had uh, planned to get the Canberra, the SS Canberra, that was the yeah. hospital ship in the Falklands War, uh, to weigh anchor off the beaches of uh, Juno and Sword yeah. and all the veterans would be on the deck and then the Lancaster would fly from behind them and as it came over the camera bomb doors opened and it dropped a million poppies out of it so the challenge actually is how do you drop a million poppies out of the Lancaster bomb bay because it was obviously never no. never designed to be dropped drop a million poppies drop they were actually before. worried the the, the, the the boffins were worried that um, there was a suction effect, effect and that what would happen is all the poppies would just stick on the Bombay roof. Oh, yeah. So uh, we actually did a test drop uh, at Wainfleet of a quarter of a million poppies uh, and the, um, the challenge with the Lancaster Bombay is all the controls for the engines, the throttles, the ailerons, uh, the rudder and the elevators all go through the roof of the Bombay. So there's cables, pulleys, chains for the throttles, for flying controls, all the trim tabs. And they were worried that the poppies could get caught in the chain sprockets and then seize the, all the throttles up. So I, I got um, uh, asked if uh, I could, because I was looking after the structures bay at Conisby at the time. Yeah. Uh, with my team, we, whether we could um, convert the Bombay to prevent any poppies from jamming the controls. So uh, I was presented with a roll of chicken wire, right, uh, that high, a metre high roll of chicken wire, and I said, well, when do we want to do... Uh, we want to do a test drop on Thursday afternoon, because yeah. they want to do the poppy drop is uh, 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 on Saturday, I think yeah. it was, so we it all come up at short notice so um, the biggest challenge was actually covering all those chains and sprockets so I made some sheet metal yeah. and the engineering officer in charge of the Battle of Britain Memorial flight the warrant officer said you're not allowed to drill any holes in the aircraft at all so with a combination of existing rivet holes and tie wraps black tie wraps the 
factory covered the whole Bombay with chicken wire, front to back. Just normal chicken wire that you uh, buy from, you know, the uh, ironmonger. And then we put uh, 250,000 poppies in, close the Bombay door, uh, and then enough for you to just stand like that, and then put the poppies up in, in the Bombay. And uh, they were in red paper bags. And it's just the red part of the poppy, the red leaf, the paper part, not not the plastic leaf and the, yeah. and, the and the stem, just the red paper. Cut the plastic bag with a Stanley knife, laid them all out, and then got a Red Arrows chase plane. Came over the bombing range at Waynefleet at uh, about 300 feet. Opened the Bombay doors, and all the poppies came out. But the problem was all the, all you saw really was the red paper bags. So the challenge for the real drop was we can't have a load of red paper bags. So actually what we did is we got uh, a leaf uh, blower, took out one of the inspection holes that the bomb aiming used to check all the bombs had gone with a torch, blew them all in for the drop on the day. And then on the day flew over Canberra and dropped a million poppies. Yeah. Um, anyway, they were that pleased with the outcome. Uh, when it came to June, uh, uh, the VE day, yeah. um, a year later, uh, for 45, as you remember, there's a picture of the Lancaster going down the Mall towards Buckingham Palace. And yeah. um, did the million poppy drop um, out of there. So it was uh, the most unique challenge uh, I've ever had in the RAF. <laughs> Uh, to, to do that conversion yeah. in the Bombay oh. and, and, and it worked. That's a good story, thank yeah. you. Yeah, no worries. You have to edit that a bit, we'll yeah. take up the whole half an hour. Yeah, I I have can't, can't, I've, had, I've, I've, already <laughs> edit, I've already condensed it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Phil.